big dogs. I'm gonna try one of these Carista OB OBD port readers, Bluetooth one. Basically, I got a got a code on the on the old dash, so we are going to see if this will remove it. Let's see if I can find this baby. Oh, we got light. Let's take something, I think. Is it on? Yeah, I think it's on. Well, we got. Yeah, so there we are. So we have a red. I haven't done this yet, so just bear with me. Get the keys. So the code is a it's like a sensor on the gearbox. I don't. You shouldn't actually start the car. So you meant to go just before. Oh, we better get some. Better stop the music here. Yeah. As you can see, it's lighting, lighting up like a Christmas tree. Sorry, guys. I'm just trying. <laughs> Just sort the, the radio out before any music or anything plays. <laughs> okay, we sorted the music situation. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can get to the. Let's see if I can get to the um. To the app. Well, if not the app, sorry. If I can see if I can see the device. There it is. Let's connect to that baby right there. Well, we'll try. Good old quadruple zero. Okay, so there we go. So now let's find. I installed the app at some point. I'm just trying to do it with. Let's open that. Diagnose. Let's see if it actually picks these up. I'm hoping that there's one. Fault one. There we go. I don't know what the advanced diagnostics will do. There we go, park neutral switch. So that's the that's the um, that's the one I I know about. So basically, when the engine I'm doing the currently doing the um, yeah, I'll show you guys my face so you can actually see what's kicking off. Yeah, so basically I'm I'm still doing the doing the thousand mile. I'm still doing the, the <laughs> Jesus, come on, get some. Hello, wow, this is not um. <laughs> Just scared me then. The picture or something. Ooh. Yeah. So basically, doing the thousand miles. It doesn't run yet. I'm 642 in, and I got one of my friends to come around previously. You know, the guy that I used to do the fault and code reading with the with a snap on one. Right, the guy Scott. So he came around and he checked the code. It's obviously exact the same, so I can confirm that 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 works. We will also attempt to reset it if it allows us to. So he, he managed to do that for me. So before I drove it any further, I rang the garage up and I was like, look, I got this code, and vice versa. So I'm allowed to still drive it. It's not a big issue. And yeah, so now we'll go on to the, let's see if we can reset the code. I mean, oh no, let's see. Well, there we go. So the phone went to sleep. So let's see if it, sorry guys, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to hold this and show you guys at the same time so there we go engine faults nothing else as you can see okay so let's reset it zero zero okay cool and then I'll just turn the car on 
well t sorry turn the car off I can only uh, uh, we just hanging with me here just roll with me I don't quite know what I'm doing with it and I'm gonna take the reader out because if it has worked then we won't it should just be gone Start. What do you think? There we go, it's gone. Pretty cool, huh? That's pretty sweet. Gone. As you can see. Yes, the big dogs. We'll class it as a win then for Carista, for that Carista app or, or Carista device and the, I mean, little, little bit of description. Sorry, I'm it's actually pretty tired. <laughs> okay, so the device, it's my, it's my pal. So I, I didn't, I didn't buy it. He lent it to me. Makes sense because you know, these type of things don't work on all cars. They, it's designed more for like your VAG group type. So like if you look at other people's videos with regards to these, you do some pretty trick stuff with regards to like opening your windows and all that kind of stuff and those sort of features like when you're not on the car when you do different things like you open your sunroof you'll see other people doing that but with ours with like these impressors you won't be able to do things like that it's more going to be your fold code reading and that kind of stuff you want to achieve with it it's like i said i think i think it's around like 30 quid i think he paid and then he paid 30 pound a month a 30 pound a year for the subscription to that app to the Carista app. I haven't tested on any of the other free OBD readers or anything like that. I'm gonna try with another because like obviously this is this is my my friend's one, so I'm gonna have to give that back. And then I might just buy myself one. I might even try a different brand or something just that I can do other cars too. Like because I like messing with cars and other people's cars, so just try and get something that's also a little bit more general across the board. But this thing works perfectly. If, if you just want to do like fault reading and resetting of codes so you send it here and that'll set you back what max max 60 quid all in it seems yeah so if you want to know if a carista works it works big ducks <laughs>